people, at this moment, you are watching Home at Kitchen, a program dedicated to cover the profile of home industries. For 30 minutes, Home at Kitchen will take you to see several entrepreneurs who choose to focus on creative culinary. This time tough, one of them has already been a partner of Rumah Kreatif BUMN BNI. This entrepreneur has already succeeded in changing salak into an extraordinary disease and beverage. Salak is a fruit unique to Indonesia and is beneficial to our health. Usually, salak is consumed as it is. However, now, there is an entrepreneur who is innovative enough to create various disease and beverage made of salak. Sally Ang, a young woman successful in establishing a business using salak as the main material. Awal usaha di salaku itu sebenarnya saya kulinernya sih 2010 ya, tapi kita fokus ke pengolahan buah salak itu di awal 2016. Salak is one of the most favorite fruit in Indonesia. Its shape is very alien and its benefits vary. But because of its shells, people are often too lazy to peel it. Because of this, Sally has begun expanding business by making products based on salak, so that people are able to consume the easily. Bahwa buah salak itu kan sebenarnya kan dia banyak manfaatnya, tapi banyak orang juga kendalanya malas ngupasnya. Makanya kita di sini sebagai UKM yang mengolah khusus buah salak pengen memberikan solusi bahwa di sini ada olahan baru dari buah salak, jadi punya cara enak makan salak. Salak has many benefit. That is what Sally tells people about while continually growing her salaku business. While only a few of people know, salak contains a great amount of beta carotene and vitamin C, which are good for our body and other important nutrition. Salak itu sebenarnya tanaman yang manfaatnya itu mulai dari buah, biji, daun itu sebenarnya banyak ya. Dia mulai dari kulitnya aja bisa kita manfaatkan. Uh, saya mau ngambil uh, dagingnya untuk mengolah menjadi olahan baru itu karena dia terutama manfaatnya ada beta karotinnya, ada vitamin C-nya, ada juga pektin, potasium. Pokoknya itu dia manfaatnya banyak. Jadi saya ingin mengolahnya menjadi olahan baru. Until now, the products of salaku has varied greatly, such as salak brownies. Salak pickles, salak cookies, milk pudding, beverage, even chili paste mixed with salak. Among others, brownies and pickles are still king and queen. Di antaranya itu brownie salak, ada asinan salak, ada cookies salak, ada minuman salak, ada sambal salak. Terus yang baru juga kita baru keluarin pie salak sama puding susu salak. Jadi untuk olahan sudah mulai banyak variannya. Jadi yang suka jenis kue kue basah kita juga mulai ada. Yang suka segar ada, yang pedas ada. By selling them in a relatively low price, Salaku has attract many customers. Untuk harga di Salaku range mulai dari 15.000 di minuman itu ada jus salak ya. Ada sambelnya juga sambal ebi salak itu di harga 30.000. Ada brownies dan bolu salak itu di harga Rp60.000, ada asinan salak Rp25.000, ada juga pay salak di harga Rp45.000. It began when Sally was just a client of BNI. Then, BNI asked her to join RKB BNI. And it turned out that in Bekasi there was a program dedicated to the nurturing of small and medium enterprises, which she participated in a year ago. Uh, awalnya dulu saya jadi nasabah BNI ya, terus ditawarin masuk RKB BNI. Ternyata uh, ada di Bekasi itu semacam program binaan untuk UKM. Terus uh, mulailah saya masuk itu sekitar 2017. Nah sejak itu saya uh, diajak ikut pelatihan. As a partner of BNI, Sally wish that in the future. BNI would make the requirements easier by asking lower interest. Furthermore, she hoped that BNI would orchestrate more events and or bazaars so that her product would be more well-known. 
uh, manfaat RKB BNI untuk salaku, pertama kita dapat pelatihan. Pelatihannya itu bisa bentuknya wirausaha, bisa juga pelatihan kemasan. Terus yang bikin kita seneng itu kita punya akses untuk bisa ikut serta di event-event yang besar. Itu harapan kita sebagai UKM ya.